Hola, now I hear Hong Kong is mulling a proposal to um, perhaps increase the uh, ratio of female to male toilets in shopping malls and commercial centres. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, one of the uh, city's biggest political parties put forward the proposal as the long lines that are seen in the malls now becoming an all too common sight. Now my colleague Leslie Tang here in Hong Kong has the story. Most ladies in Hong Kong, including myself, often find themselves waiting in long lines for the restroom. But it seems the Hong Kong government is thinking about providing us women with some relief. The building's department is mulling over a proposal to boost the ratio of female to male toilets in shopping malls and commercial centers. Now, the current planning ratio is supposed to be one to one. However, not all shopping malls follow the guidelines. One floor in a mall was found to have 26 male toilets and urinals compared to just 15 female toilets. Now, a survey by the Hong Kong Toilet Association shows that the average time women spend in the bathroom is about 40% longer than men. So the Democratic Party is calling for two female toilets to every male toilet or urinal to help cut down on those long lines which are becoming all too common during peak hours. It's also proposing to add unisex washrooms. It says this will give women another option if the lines are too long and also allow people to accompany elderly family members or children of the opposite sex. Now, a government recommendation in 2005 to boost the ratio of female toilets has largely gone ignored. However, a spokesperson for the building's department said the government is now consulting with various sectors, including developers, cinemas, and women's groups on the issue. So it seems for now, ladies in Hong Kong will just have to bear waiting in line for a little longer. Leslie Tang, Channel News Asia, Hong Kong. And of course, we ask a poll on our Facebook page on Primetime Asia. Um, if there is a shortage of ladies' public toilet uh, where people are, are, are living. So take a look at the results there. A lot more people saying, no, there, there's no shortage of uh, female toilets where they are. Glenda, what do you think? Well, I don't think there is a shortage. However, I do agree that women tend to spend, you know, much longer in the bathroom. So perhaps that's why you, you get the sense that maybe there is a shortage because the queue and the line it's is just so much longer. Exactly, you go. it's so much longer. So I don't think the ratio is the problem. I think it's the time spent in. The <laughs> so Glenda <laughs> proposes spending less time in the public toilet. <laughs> Roland, what do you think about that? Sounds to me that's a potty <laughs> problem to be solved here in Hong Kong, Timothy. <laughs> I think they should just add more cubicles. That should solve some of the problems. Yeah, I mean, just add more cubicles or perhaps more mirror space in the um, cubicles. That's it. That's and what give I a mean. time limit if Glenda No, has no, no time limit. I mean, I'm... <laughs> <laughs>